Good morning, I'm Ms. Deline, and I am drawing cards from the Sacred Path deck by Jimmy Sams. Today's card is Coral, which is nurturing. And in honor of the Coral card, I thought I'd put on some chunky coral. Attributes of this card are giving to self, accepting love, being loving and compassionate, assisting the growth in others, being fed by the Earth Mother, honoring the feelings of others, feeding your needs. Challenges are knowing how to properly nurture, stopping abuse of any kind, healing past betrayals, breaking patterns of family dysfunctions, receiving nurturance, showing compassion for the self, and not expecting others to fill your emptiness. Big one. If the coral card has shown up in your spread today, it may be necessary to review how you nurture yourself or others. You may want to ask yourself if you understand what your personal needs are. These are not to be confused with goals. Needs are very specific. Nurturing comes in the form of meeting your needs rather than catering to your superficial compulsions. Your body is a good place to begin. How much sleep does your body need? Does your body react to foods that are too rich, sour, sweet, acidic, or spicy? Do you ignore these warnings? Can you dance your body's expression? Will you allow yourself to sigh if you feel emotion welling up inside of you? Look at how certain situations make you feel. Do your feelings run high when you force yourself to go to business-oriented parties? Does your body feel stressed when you refuse to exercise it? Is your day so full that quiet times alone have become a thing of the past? Have you forgotten to laugh at yourself and allow the child within you to play? Do you want to scream sometimes and let the body release its tension but swallow your frustration instead? Are you so busy doing things for others that your needs have been ignored? If your answer to any of these questions is yes, your sense of personal needs has been upset in some way. Coral says to listen to your body, find what nurtures you, and do it. To walk gently and in balance is an art. We must each learn what is necessary for our personal enhancement and well-being. In so doing, we may then begin to see how the other creatures of the planetary family are examples of this nurturing. Coral is the reminder that we all carry red blood and are all children of the earth. Our needs may be different from those of others, but every creature has needs. In relying on others to supply the nurturing that we must supply for ourselves, we can follow the crooked trail. To achieve balance, we may learn to connect with our Earth Mother and receive our nurturing from her as well as through our own actions. When we are adept at nurturing ourselves, then we have a base from which we may share with others. Let me repeat that. When we are adept at nurturing ourselves, then we have a base from which we may share with others. When each being is a whole person, they no longer look to others expecting to be fulfilled. In this manner, each whole person may share totally and completely without fear of losing something or of being used by another in the process. In all instances, the coral card points to the idea of nurturing in its action form. Not thinking about it or wishing for it, but acting on it. Giving nurturance to another without smothering the recipient is a part of this lesson. Nurture the dreams you carry by working with the energy of the dream daily. Nurture the child within by clearing old pain and giving that child freedom of expression. Nurture the body through dance, exercise, good foods, or sexual intimacy. Nurture your abilities by working on the skills that make them better. Nurture your relationships with others through being thoughtful or caring. Nurture your connection to great mystery and the medicine helpers through prayer. Nurture your career connections through communication. Nurture your emotions by clearing the feelings that were too painful to accept at the time. Nurture the self by strengthening the body, heart, mind, and spirit. Nurture the future by helping children. All of these aspects of nurturing are ways to ensure continued growth. Our ability to respond to the nurturing we need in our lives depends upon our ability to use what we know 
and how we feel in order to grow. So, nurturing ourselves is the key to being able to nurture others. The, this part, when we are adept at nurturing ourselves, then we have a base from which we may share with others. When each being is a whole person, they no longer look to others expecting to be fulfilled. So, I know people I do healing work. I do Reiki. Um, I do shamanic journeying for people. I, I sometimes do readings for people. My whole, I feel like my whole purpose on this planet is to help other people in whatever way that I can manage to do that. And I learned a long time ago that I have to take care of myself first. I had a really strong message from spirit and it was similar to physician heal thyself, right? Um, when I went into massage therapy, it was because I wanted to help other people. This was 30 something years ago, right? And I wanted to learn how to massage other people and, and help, you know, help them with their pain. And, and I got into the class and then we had to receive massage as well as give it. And it was like, whoa, uh, no. I, it's okay for me to touch you, but I don't want you touching me, right? Huge lesson for me. <laughs> anyway, that was kind of the start of that whole um, nurture the self first before you can nurture others. So I have uh, more than one friend who wants, who they want to do healing work. And they passionately want to help other people. They passionately want to... Um, to make a difference and in other people's lives by helping them heal but they won't they refuse to heal themselves they refuse to nurture themselves they refuse to do to take care of themselves and so they're missing the point and as much as I have tried to encourage or um, ask them to be an example for others in a good way instead of the way they are um, it, it doesn't work and and so people have to want people have to help themselves in order to be helped so um, another huge lesson I've gotten in my life um, doing healing work is that I can pour all the healing energy into someone I can possibly pour but unless they want to help themselves, unless they take action to help themselves, um, it's, it's just like pouring it down the black hole um, or a bottomless well, right? It, it's not going to do anything because you have to want to nurture yourself, learn to nurture yourself before you can be of service to others. So. When we're adept at nurturing ourselves, this is the first, I think the fourth time I'm reading it, then we eat, we have a base from which we can share with others. So when we're well rested, when we eat right, when we exercise right, when we take care of our bodies, just normal physical needs, um, and nurture ourselves in that way, then we are balanced. And we're, then we're able to be there for other people in the way that they may need. And then the part that says giving nurturance to another without smothering the recipient is part of this lesson. So I wanted to tell a story about when I, my son was a baby and he was a newborn and he cried every two, I mean, he just cried constantly. I couldn't sleep. I was so burned out. I had given beyond my capacity to give. I was so burned out. And this friend one of my, I call her a spiritual friend, because I had belly dance friends back then, and I, and they all just kind of um, went away. But this newer friend, she stops by my house, knocks on the door. She's never had a kid. She really has no way of relating to what I'm going through, except for her deep compassion. She handed me a rose and a card 
And she said, I just wanted you to know that I'm thinking about you, that I care about you. And, and then she left. <laughs> Perfect example without, of, of nurturing without smothering. That was a life-changing event for me right there in that moment. A life-changing event. This woman shows up on my porch, hands me a rose and this beautiful card. What a nurturing thing. What a gift. And so simple to do. And so I've tried to learn from that. Excuse me, but I am hot. So <clears throat> right now, during this time, this lesson is huge for us during this time. This time of um, unrest. This, there's fears around the, the COVID virus. There's, there's all the anger and the protests around the killing of George Floyd and the continued racism of, you know, centuries of racism. And people are just, they're, they're just in a um, distressed state. And I've heard... I know I was having trouble sleeping. If you're an empath, you're feeling all these things that aren't yours. They're everybody's, right? Um, and so we're having trouble sleeping, not eating right, and those kind of things. It's more important. This coral card is here to remind us <clears throat> that now more than ever, it's important for us to nurture ourselves, to take care of our own needs. So if you're having trouble sleeping, you know, do all the things. Um, to try and relax, but what I did last night, because I forget, I forget my coping mechanisms. I laid there. I always read to turn off my brain at night for a while, and because uh, I have that monkey brain, always thinking of all the things I have to do. So I read to shut that down. And normally I go to sleep and I'm fine, but you know the last couple weeks I've been having trouble sleeping, and so last night, you know, I asked, I asked for help with that. I asked um, Great Spirit, I asked my angels, I asked my power animals to to um, help me stay grounded and to rest well. Best rest I've had in weeks, I'm telling you. Um, so remember to ask. Also do what, you know, do the other things it takes like um, drink warm milk or something, which to me is like, Whoa, but I know it works for some people. Uh, don't read the news or listen to the news before you go to sleep. For heaven's sake, please don't do that. Um, things like that. Do things that are relaxing and nurturing to you so that you can get good rest. Make sure that you eat well. Um, I am a person who forgets to eat because I get so focused on things and people go, how do you forget to eat? Well, if you're so focused on something, you're not paying attention to your body, at least me. I'm not paying attention to my body. And then my stomach goes, hey, pay attention. I'm hungry, right? So... So, um, and then when I do eat, I try and eat healthy things. I don't eat things, rarely, rarely eat things out of a box, you know, pre-mixed or whatever. So, fresh things. Um, anyway, you know how to eat well. And get enough sleep. I know there was a period in my life where I could not get more than five or six hours sleep. I was running so fast that I couldn't keep up with my life running three businesses and all that kind of stuff. Um, I was a mess. And so I started, that was when I really focused on nurturing myself. I started sleeping. I gave myself eight to nine hours a night sleep. And hello, guess what happened? I got more done in a day, sometimes almost twice as much as I would have gotten done had I only gotten five or six hours of sleep because when I only had five or six hours of sleep, I was not functioning. I was not firing on all cylinders, okay? My brain was kind of in a fog. And, I, and when I got enough rest, I, was, I had vitality. And I could just go, 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 go. Um, getting that through to some people are like, oh, I need more time. No, you don't need more time. You need more rest so that you can get more done in the time that you have. <clears throat> anyway, there's so many ways of self-nurturing. And now it's critical with everything that's going on in the world and all the unrest and everything. It's critical that we nurture our bodies, sleep right, eat right, exercise right, so that we stay healthy and vital and not get sucked into the negativity, get sucked into depression, get sucked into sadness, 
and and anger and fear that fear that is so pervasive right now um, take care of yourself physically and it helps you take care of yourself emotionally and mentally so nurture yourself if you have coral if you have a piece of coral um, you know the Native Americans use red coral I don't care if it's um, white coral I have coral you know whatever whatever you can use as a reminder to yourself but especially if you had a small piece of the red coral or a necklace of it or something so that you could remind yourself to nurture yourself use it as a reminder that's all I have today I love you guys I hope you take care of yourselves I hope that you you do that and become an example for your friends and family who are not taking care of themselves you can be a way shower.